So, hey folks, it's me, Greg, and I'm here with Ryan Scott Green. Hello, everybody. And this is before the show, so I'm going to send it to you. I'm going to try to send it to you before the show so you guys will get a little taste of it. But we were sitting here talking about his character, Brandon, from Queer as Folk. And um, he was telling me how lucky he felt to get the role. So, expound on it a little bit. Well, <laughs> we were talking about Brandon as, <laughs> as the character that was... I think we used the word pivotal final piece to mm -hmm. to to Brian's uh, ultimate re realization of what he wanted to be or, or, or could be or you know however he would word that um, and that you know I had been so fortunate to um, land the role of of Brandon and you know I, in my head there are probably a hundred guys that could have been cast as. As Brandon, and probably a thousand. Um, but like Dan and Ron and I talked about when we sat in that room on that on that day when you know I think the final decision was made was that they really believed that you know from that crazy audition that I did two months prior that they really thought that this was you know this was the role that that this I was the one that they wanted for this role and and once they explained everything to me. Um, you know, not only was I feeling very fortunate, but also extremely proud and 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 supportive of what they were trying to do, and, and I signed off right away, um, which was funny because you think you know actors are like ah no no no, but Dan and Dan and Ron, I remember them. They they sat me down and they were like, look, we understand that you're an actor and that you want to work, and and, and there are actors that don't want to do necessarily certain roles, and and uh, and f for whatever their reasons might be. And I looked at them and I said, I don't imagine I'm going to say no to this because I understood the, you know, the value of the show and, and, mm -hmm. and you know, the, um, you know, the critical acclaim that it was getting. And, and um, but as I said, you know, admittedly, there wasn't an entire understanding of what I, I mean, I didn't know the show as well as someone who'd been watching it season in and season out. And I did have to do a lot of, a lot of digging around. So uh, you were a researched actor when it came to Queer as Folk. You had to research a lot of it in order to come to an understanding of the show. In terms of the characters and the feel and, and kind of, you know, I, I always use the, um, I always use the, the Gilmore Girls uh, as an example. Please, please, please. My favorite show in all of existence is the Gilmore Girls. Okay, so if you ever go in and audition for the Gilmore Girls uh -huh. and you've never seen the show, mm -hmm. you're not going to get the job. Do you remember the pacing of that show? Of course. It, fast, 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 fast. Those, those, they, they talked so quickly and, mm -hmm. and it was witty and it was quick and you needed to understand that. And as an actor who never saw the show, mm -hmm. you walk in and audition and the casting director drops that first line and you just, you know, say, you know, yeah. somewhat normally back to them. She's gonna stop you, and she's gonna say, mm -mm. "You gotta, you gotta." It's it's that fast. You know, Amy Sherman Palladino is. I, I'm a writer myself, okay. and so Amy Sherman Palladino is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite writers ever. I, my dream before death is to sit with Amy Sherman and pick her brain. I would love to meet her. Um, it's, it's the reason why I moved to Hollywood, to be quite honest with you. Is that right? Gilmore Girls has changed my life so much. The writing of Gilmore Girls changed my life so much that it propelled me to consistently keep writing, keep writing, and keep writing. And it's helped me in so many ways, the pace of it, to even slowing down what I was writing. Mm -hmm. And so um, it was such a great show. But we have to go because we are going to be on the air in just a couple minutes. And we're going to be talking to you guys. Me and Mr. Ryan Scott Green will be on the air. So you ladies tune in, you gentlemen tune in, and please know that he is as fine as he was on television in person. Work that on up. I'm out. See you later.